Howdy. So I have a Hawa build using Molten Strike. Uh, I'm going to show a little map clear real quick. There's a couple of funky mechanics going on. So we stack projectiles and then we use the wildfire um, cluster jewel or what's it called? Threshold jewel to make them chain. So they bounce like this. So I'm just going to show a quick map clear. This is how the build clears. And then you can see we have Ancestral Call on, so we get extra balls. I think right now I'm at 20, no, uh, where is it at? Right now with the flask up, we're at eight projectiles. So it's about 16 without the wildfire. That'll make sense later if you're not, if you're not familiar with these builds. So then for single target, what we do, it's actually horrible. So we get rid of the wildfire because that cuts our projectiles in half. And then we pop in slower proj over chain, damage on full life over ancestral call and conch effect on ellie focus and there's a few reasons why we do that i'll explain why in just a second i just wanted to show the single target swap so i want to get hit a little bit if i can so the damage isn't crazy but if you look at my es down there it goes up pretty quick when when i do get hit And there's the beach map boss. All right. So there's a bunch of mechanics going on. Um, it's kind of a cool build. If you have a lot to invest, uh, it's kind of fun to play. It's good for simulacrum farming. Uh, it farms T16, 20% delirious. I haven't tried 100% delirious, but I think it'd be fine if you had enough ES. You'd have to change a couple things to get more ES. So I'm not going to explain. Um, there'll be a pop in the description. I'm not going to explain how, how a build works. Basically, you stack in, and it gives you flat lightning damage with this, and then you stack a few sources of percent increased damage. You should have it on your amulet. I do not. You want the 1% increased damage per 15 int mod on here. But stack int gives you flat damage. Uh, the projectiles, each one of them, uh, let's see if I can find it. Each one of it does 50% less damage, but if you stack enough of them, um, each one of the projectiles gets the full damage and then it just cuts it in half so you layer a bunch of them they do shotgun which is why we use conch effect and slower projectiles on um, single target because it makes more of the projectiles shotgun on a single target so the bigger the hitbox of whatever it is you're fighting the more damage you will do because they a few of them do kind of spread out there's some info on the wiki it's like an rng thing some of them go up to like five some of them go down to um some of them go down to um Two, no, five is the minimum, 25 is the maximum. So I guess follow the pob if you want to play it. I'll go over a few gear choices. I wanted more int. I need the resistances on here. So I don't have the 1% increased damage per 16 int mod. You want that one. Um, this needs to have a percent increased int suffix on it. So I need to like remove fire or something to get a suffix on it. You just take the, um, of the base with the enchant on it and then hit it with the intelligence essences, which are kind of expensive right now. The percent increased in implicit rings, same thing, hit them with the Essence of Spite, uh, Deafening Essence of Spite to get that T0 int roll on there. Um, the bases are pretty cheap for the 7% increased int, 6% but with the Catalyst. Boots, same thing, percent increased int, and then hit it with the Essence of Spite. These are pretty cheap, I think like 40C right now. Um, Shaper's Touch with Ellie Weakness on hit was like an X when I bought it, they're probably cheaper now, I bought it a while ago. And then... For shield, so I went with this. I wanted to be super tanky, and I wanted to sit there and face tank bosses. So I went with a Saffles. So my max resistances are 84. I'm running Purity of Lightning, Purity of Ice, and Purity of Fire. If you want to focus more ES and more um, damage, you can go with one of these shields, 6% increased int, and then T1 int on it with the essences again. And then I think that's the only, oh, and the chest piece. So I went with the incandescent heart to take less elemental damage, but you can also do a Val Regalia with percent int and flat int and maybe explodey on it. We don't really scale a lot of the explodey stuff, but um, 
you can do that if you want to. So those are, these are the main two ones you could change if you wanted to. Uh, everything else is pretty much best in slot. Maybe the belt could be better, but spend a ton for it. So that's the gearing. Um, let's go over how we get all the balls. So I use split personalities. So over here, I do a uh, int and ES split personality. And then I use widespread destruction. And then supercharge is a ton of damage. You could theoretically get another fan of blades right here. So you have another projectile. I'm at 16 base, 18 sorry 16 with the flask up with the dying sun gives us two so you could be at theoretically 17 with that and then i could have another one right here with megalomaniacs so that's that's how we get a lot of the projectiles is we get a um, claw cluster with fan of blades so this gives us an additional projectile while wielding a claw or dagger so we get that on megalomaniacs you want this is the one you want this is why i'm not playing this build because i've been able to find two of these all league i've been doing the search for it Pretty much every day, I found two, and they're both super expensive. So, um, I filled in the rest of them with uh, pure aptitude. Oh, this one's really good; has chilling presence on it. But yeah, pure might, and then pure aptitude for some extra int and some reservation, so I could fit all three purities in there. Um, I would recommend even dropping the purities if you can get the energy from not, because we get so much percent increased ES from all of our int. Only got about thirteen hundred. Um, that any any sources of flat ES boost this up. I think one more energy from not. So I'm at 5,500 right now. If we take one off, it's 500 ES out the door, 400 ES out the door after the modifiers. So two, another two or three more of these put you up to six, seven K, a little comfier. Um, and then, oh, I'm doing, um, where are they? Not on this one. I'm supposed to be doing three grand spectrums with 15% increased LA damage per grand spectrum doing these in here because with Hawa you get a lot of flat damage from the Hawa itself it gives you one to ten flat but there's it's kind of hard to scale it because uh, anything that you that you scale with it could be put back into getting more int so this gives you 1575 wait 45 it gives you like a hundred and something percent increased elemental damage with three of them in there so that's a lot of damage it's the majority of our damage actually I should have had it in there when I was showing this um, so these are how you get the balls, and then we, the other thing we do is we use a, where is it, we use an ES gained on hit, Watcher's Eye. So this means that each time one of those projectiles or a melee strike hits, it gives us 29 energy shields. So we attack roughly four times, four or five times per second, um, which means if we have roughly 20 projectiles plus our melee hit, 20 times four is about 100 hits per second, so assuming all the balls hit. So we get three hundred hits per second times twenty nine is like twenty nine hundred ES per second, I think. Insta leached. So we get that. That's why it was going up so fast because we use Ghost Reaver to leech twenty percent, which is fast, but it's not that fast. Getting the ES on hits an additional twenty nine hundred. Um, we are chaos inoculation. What else? I think that's most of it. Um, oh, and then the reason we do the swap is the wildfire makes them bounce makes the projectiles bounce so if you have a chain or awaken chain you get two to three bounces on them and that makes the clear a lot easier for simulacrums for if you're going to use this for a clear build and for a bosser i definitely recommend doing the chain it's a lot a lot easier uh, the build feel is really really slow and heavy without it and then when we have this on we have the chain in there we have the le focus and then we have the ancestral call Single target, we want them all hitting at once because this does half your projectiles. So you get half as many projectiles, but they hit three times more. So you're getting like roughly one and a half more projectile hits per attack if you balance it out. Um, so yeah, use this for single target. I think that's it. I'm probably forgetting some stuff, um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will link the pop down there as well as I'll try to leave some some kind of clear maybe I'll, I'll leave it in the notes of the pob for how to get each projectile like what each source comes from i think the max you can get is like 24 or 25 if you want to really push the projectiles but thanks for watching bye